Okay, so we're going to go down into this next area. Lower division ghost town. Yep. And let's see if everybody gets poison coming in here. They do not. So we can explore this area relatively safely. So we're good with that. Hey, we got more free stuff. And I like free stuff. Down to find the spiders. Pretty much without any anti-poison stuff except for on our back line person. So concentrate, assault slash two. And I don't think we run into the crazy guy down here. But we might. And you fight the front line. But I am, like, conserving mana. You may notice that Wander has really crap mana, despite being about the same level as the rest of the team. That is because I have not been investing in Int and Piety for him. I probably won't find the Spider's Queen today, honestly. But we will try to get as much of this area explored as possible, because this place is supposedly huge. Gosh golly gee, Willikars is quite big! I love how much damage he's just doing to everything. I think probably what we'll do is we'll explore this area until we run into something that's super freaking scary. Um, the SFSs. <laughs> super freaking scary bastards. And then we will come back in here after doing some of the underwater area. Because I'll probably grind the underwater area um, whenever I'm watching my shows. So that's what I'm going to be looking at for that. I'll probably grind that area to try and get another katana for care. And maybe some other weapons if there's any that we can find. I, I haven't really gone in there for too much item-wise. I've mostly just been going in there and looking for the bosses that we were ready to fight. This area is way better for experience. So we go in here. I have a feeling, if I remember what I looked at the maps like, there's like a circular outside to this, and then it just kind of like spirals inward. Seems like you can hide here. Fine. I don't want to hide here, because I don't want to encounter the bosses in this place right now. I want to get the map first. <laughs> oh no, another random encounter! The enemies here are not terribly overleveled, so it's not that big of a deal. It's just, I need to be kind of aware of what I'm fighting. And I probably shouldn't waste the clock ups, because I could use them for spells on her if they start doing stupid crap like summoning friends. So let's go ahead and beat these guys up. There you go. Not too hard. Elaborate pride. Nope, it's an axe in their head. <laughs> I thought the th same thing whenever I first saw them, so don't don't feel bad about that. It's just a wall, okay. And it's just a wall. So yeah, this is going to be concentric circles, okay. So this is Spider's Nest. And I have a feeling that map was on the list. Yes, it is. Okay. So the central door is locked. So there's actually a door back behind the waystone that is locked. So we have to spiral through, zigging and zagging back and forth around this place, if I'm reading the map right. And then we come in here and then we can unlock the door and then we get up to another spot where we can unlock another door. So that's what we're looking at right now. I can show that on the map in just a second after I bring back up all my stuff after looking at the map. I need a third monitor. Basically, we zigzag. We go bloop, then down, then over this way. And it just kind of like you zigzag back and forth until you get into there's a door like right here. So we just kind of got to keep on trucking through. And hope we don't run into any kind of scary bosses. Although I should look at what were the locations of the other bosses in this area. The other le legendary guys. Because that would actually probably benefit me. Because doing that would give me access to possibly more skills. And more morale points if we can get like four bosses 
done before we actually get too deep into this place. So let's go ahead, party, actually, info. Wanted lineages, underground ghost town, because this is someone has awoken the dragon that rules death, don't underestimate the beast, and this one, powerless witch that can't return to its true form, is hiding in the underground ghost town. So they're going to be in the ghost towns, I wager, so not just wandering around randomly. This little shit biscuit can just go rot in hell, though. So, yeah. But Mausoleum of the Sea is probably where I'm going to do most of my farming off screen. If anyone is legitimately curious. Hey, Draz, how's it going? And we can hide in here, too, probably. Yup. Welcome to the Wandering Hallway Simulator. Also known as a dungeon crawler. <laughs> we have had plenty of trials and tribulations the past... Well, for those of you on YouTube, the past few episodes. For those of you on Twitch, the past few hours. Yes, I've been playing this for hours. Speaking of which, probably after we get this door unlocked, I might have to... It's going to be a while before we get the door unlocked, but probably going to have to call it and actually start rendering some things because I have a video I need to release fairly soon. Otherwise, the opportunity for it will pass. And I hate thinking that way, but I'm going to be honest. I want my channel to grow on YouTube and on Twitch. Twitch is secondary to my YouTube stuff, but it's still up there. Yeah, I was probably. If you look at the time down at the bottom, it, it, it's a very pathetic amount of time. Um, but I'm having fun with this game, and that's one reason why I can kind of marathon. And also, I can sit back in my chair with a controller, as opposed to sit there with, like, my elbow losing circulation from clicking with a mouse. So, that's another reason why games like this have kind of taken a priority for me. Hey, it's another rando. But, yeah. Uh, let's try Carnage fronting him. After stabbing him in the face about seven times. Fun and not having your arm fall asleep because you're cutting off circulation to part of it <laughs> are, yes, two very important things. That's why I've been kind of cutting back on how much I stream Diablo 2. I'm still keeping it... I still have enough content of Diablo 2 to keep up two series running it simultaneously, but... Um, this is going to be a hidden spot. Yep. I called it before I it even told me. So we go through here and keep... Oh, yep, there's our warp stone that I was talking about before. Oh, there's a lot of you, but is it worth it? No, <laughs> it's not. Not a level 37. It's not worth a 37. But I, I find games like this, especially after you get past that initial just, God, this is frustratingly hard early area into the area where you're actually competent to grind, where your characters are competent enough to grind in any given area, even if it's a lower level area. As long as you can grind, you can always level up and get stronger than the enemies. I find it almost cathartic. And while I'm not big on grinding, this is something that I can do while I am watching stuff or whenever I'm rendering. Because I don't need to worry about it lagging. I don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. Like, if I'm rendering, this could be running at like 3 frames per second, and I can still do the same thing. As opposed to, say, Diablo, if it's lagging, I'm dying. This, I just have to wait until it takes my input. So that's not a dark hallway, oddly enough. I have a feeling we're about to fight the spider. Why, why is the hunch of the spider being a thing in my head right now? Okay, so let's unlock that. Oh! Well, that unlocked it. As you open the door, step... Um, it's you? Hi, how you doing? Kyo and his party enter the room. I'm surprised you made it before us. Especially considering I left several times. I guess it's not that shocking. We did take a while. Uh, Kyo glares back his allies, nearly clearly annoyed. In any case, I respect your hustle. Uh, the Spider Queen is a target on my list, but since you got here first, I'll let you handle things. Thank you. Uh, don't worry about it. There's another. There's other targets here. Don't get too excited. In this world, there's evil beyond your widest nightmares, okay? I'm going to look at the other screen over there and see if it really did say widest or wildest. Go ahead. I, I'm looking through the stream delay. 
Oh, it said wildest. I thought it said widest. I was like, wait a minute. I skipped through that too fast, and I did. Your true skills will be put to the test when you face those enemies. Anyway, we'll be on our way. And yes, there is a stream delay. If you're ever curious what the stream delay... Hey, lineage has been added, I guess. Party. Actually, info. Did it actually add some to here? Why, yes, it did. There's a spider queen. Takes a uh, human for its child. Its nest is somewhere in the Sword City, but nobody knows where. It's only level 15. We might, we, we might fight that guy. But yeah, I don't mind lagging on games like this. And that's just lagging because I would be basically playing it on a system that's completely resource tanked. Because whenever I'm rendering, it is using up all my RAM, my entire processor. Only thing that's not hurting is my video card. And Divinity Flash Escape. I saw that 36. That's a little bit better. 35 with just two guys I can handle. And you're going to do plink plink damage. Really? You knocked them out? Okay. Go, Katana Boy. And they are going to die. Because we're about to rush them with two hammers. Boom. See, I love that. Lagging is a feature. Still cracks me up. There are games that it felt like that. The freaking Magic Legends felt that way. Well, I'll be darned. I think we are going to fight the Spider Queen. Just a hunch. So how do you knock a skeleton out? You give it a concussion. But too bad it already... Oh, yay! It is the Spider Queen. Hey, hey, humans. My prey is crawling straight to me all by itself. No need to go hunting. I will satisfy you will satisfy my children. Let's melt you down for them. You done talking? Prey shouldn't talk back. Now be quiet and feed my children. My children. And it's gonna down level us, by the way. Um, yep. Spider takes a human for his child. We get hunter garb, some curse scrolls, and some grimoires. I want the grimoires. Ah, Rainbow is her name. Who calls a spider rainbow? <laughs> I agree with that. And yes, we're going to put the restrictions on because it's rainbow and illuminator. So they're going to die. So let's go ahead and we will sword chivalry. We will go ahead and concentrate. You will go ahead and assault slash two. And guess what we have? We have fast spell. So that's not going to actually do anything for you other than give you some dodge. So multi avoid. Skill clock up, fast spell. You, however, you have Fire Blast. And Fire Blast is your friend. Because I was in the Spider's Nest, has rainbow in it when looking for gum socks. Yep. The Spider's Nest has rainbow in it when you're looking for gum socks. That, that is JRPG's, like, yeah. That is JRPG's to a T. It is worth noting that we've already had the nurse laundry, not the nurse laundry, the um, maid laundry, and the maid hat. So, and as we get further down in the water area, we're probably going to find the rest of the maid outfit, and they're worth a ton of money to the dwarf man. Um, cursed threads on, okay, weapon was cursed, oh darn. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it didn't reach because you... Threw us around before we actually had a chance. So, Divinity, you're going to do a Holy Light 2. You are going to use the Whistling Wand. Actually, no. You are going to still do your Fire Blasts. Let's actually try Ice Blast on them. See if that works a little bit better. I didn't actually even notice the damage we were doing before. So, Assault Slash 2. You go ahead and Rush. You go ahead and... Let's go with mm, Bio Wall. And you're going to go ahead and fight whoever you can find, which is going to be the back row. And you're the one who's going to use the wand. Because you literally can't do anything back there. Let's grant protection of light, Bio Wall. And that fixes us up. Can you stop attacking her? 
Wow, they are missing left and... Wow, that was a full rush, and he only hit once. Okay, so, yeah, there's some cold damage, and we are healing up a little bit, so let's go ahead and... Sword Chivalry, skill, concentrate. Yeah, concentrate. Assault slash two, skill, clock up, fast spell. You're going to do slows on that one, because we need to be able to hit it. Uh, fast spell, you're going to do fire blasts. We're right by the warp point. We don't have to worry about using up all of our mana on this. So clock up, fast spell, you are going to do multi-hit on us. And so he'll drop your evasion. Then we'll boost our ability to do damage. And it's about the same damage for both types of spells, unfortunately. Did kill one of their friend spiders. So let's see what we have as far as threats go. Oh, that's a little bit better. So we killed your little friend. You're cursing her weapon. You already cursed her weapon. That didn't hurt so much. Okay. So skill rush. Skill. You're just going to fight. Actually, no. We need divinity here. Let's go ahead and do... Sky Dragon 2. And you're going to rush. You're going to punch it in the face. You're going to fire... Actually, you're going to do Fire Bolt. Because it's single target, might as well do it. Okay, so you cannot do anything, so you're going to be the one using the wand. You go ahead and drop another slow on that one, and you do a multi-hit on us as well. So, yeah, you're going to try to mess with our formation again. We're going to beat you in the face. Spider Lady. Really? She hates... She hates our cleric. Almost all of her hits have gone to her. <laughs> it's like, what? Carnage Front, yes. It's probably going to just cause him to get hit right out of the bat. But let's go ahead and... You're not going to need a fast spell. He's already gotten one slow. What was the spider from Myth called? Cocky something? That's might be where the rainbow comes from. Possibly. Um, cause there is, there's a spider myth in Japan and there's a spider myth, if I remember correctly, in Greek or Roman, if I remember correctly. What's funny is I don't actually technically have a healer. She's just, I have three clockers. I have three time mages. She just happens to be the one with the highest piety. <laughs> there is no distinct class that I'm using for healer right now, so... That's the sad part. So fire spell, go ahead and clock up. Actually, you don't even need to clock up. You need to just do another multi-hit, and that'll be our five multi-hit, and we'll have our five slows on her. And you can see our multi-hit is actually working here. Oh, oh no! Well, we now have multi-hit all the way. Oh, you summoned a little friend. So the Sky Dragon effect has worn off. Divinity. Sky Dragon 2 again. Fight. I guess we rush you. Carnage front. And you actually will go ahead and f clock up fast spell and slow that one. And you're going to just keep firebolting her. Clock up. Fast spell. Let's go with... Mm. Yeah, you'll help. Your int isn't necessarily high enough, but it'll it'll help. It'll be good. Thank you for the follow, Kronos. But we are beating the hell out of the, all these. There we go. And let's go ahead and finish beating the crap out of this. They ruined my formation. You vile fools. Okay. And do we need more? No, we don't need... We don't need to cancel that, but we need to... Concentrate on you. You're going to do fast spell firebolt. You're gonna fight. Unfortunately, Karen cannot I mean Kara cannot do anything. So let's go for another firebolt on you. You are going to do fight, I guess. And you're going to use the item again. As long as it doesn't corrupt, we're good. Die, you fool. As we I, I'm loving that wand by the way. I'm so glad we found it. I know it's a fixed drop. Oh, that's another item. Okay, so let's go ahead and we will use Sword Bond 2, which will protect us from two charm effects. So they're going to be trying to charm me this turn. 
Which kind of sucks because I was going for kind of... Yeah, you're going to fight. You're going to firebolt. Fast spell, you're going to firebolt as well. I was going to go for the thing that boosts my hit and reduces... Yeah. I was going to make it a lot easier on me. There, and they didn't even get a chance to try to charm me. Sweet. And we got the proper rewards. We got 13,000 experience off of that. So we have four people really close to leveling up. Which is nice. And complete. Lovely. So we got Hunter Garb, Curse Scroll, some Grimoires, and some underwear. We got spider underwear. Warm clothing made from feathers and furs. Not really that interesting to me. Unfortunately. I must return quickly. My children are waiting. Rainbow crawls on the ground, but eventually stops moving. Aw, until suddenly. Are we going to fight again? Warm light surrounds the party. What? Hey, hey, hey. Wonderful work. You've done well. You're quite clever. Let's see. Why don't I give you a little reward, huh? What is it? He continues speaking. We could have actually said either one, I wager. This will allow you to be reborn as an even greater being. Rid yourself of that weak, feeble body, feeble body and ascend to your true form. Now take this, your reward. Oh, shit. Well, did you enjoy it? Go on, now your home is just beyond. Death itself awaits you with open arms. Oh. F butt nuggets. That's why there was a locked door.